Right, well, welcome back to episode two of the uh, RNLI Sib Restoration Challenge thing, Bonanza. Uh, it's probably been about a week and a half, I would say, since we last uh, done the video. Uh, as you can see behind me, uh, we have a flat area. Now, this tube has got a big leak uh, down underneath the bow cover here. And you'll see there's a bit of water fillage there. Um, the hole, I believe, is sort of around there where my thumb is moving um, because I could hear it coming out. Now, the idea of the boat is to fix it to a condition where it's holding air, uh, fix to get it to a condition where it's relatively safe. We're going to put it on the water once, one time only, um, and then we're going to give it to someone to do a proper restoration. But for me, I'm going to do half a restoration job. So we've done the clean uh, and now we're going to need to get it to hold air. Now, the, what we're going to do, we're not going to do it, we are sort of doing it semi-properly, but we're going to use something which is pretty cool, um, and this is a PU sealer. Now, this is waterproof, uh, it's fantastic with vibrations, and uh, it will literally bond anything together. And So what we're going to use is the bonding material, because I don't want to spend too much money on the high payload stuff. We're going to use the bow cover. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bow cover away and use this material to cover uh, the holes where I find them. So, just letting the air out the tubes now. Um, some of them have held much better than others. Definitely going to have some leaks to fix in the floor. But that's the main concern, uh, is this hole down here. Um, but the, the up here have held pretty well. I mean, that's still solid after a week. And we've had some cold weather as well. Right, there it is. Whee! I hate to do this because this floor was a nightmare to get in, but we are going to have to take it out. So um, we're going to remove the floor, we're going to clean underneath it because we didn't clean that. Find the holes, patch it up, then put the floor back in if we can. Right, let's do that. No, I'm not taking out the bin. This is going to sit on top of the floor on the sim and it bends it like that and then the floor pops out. That's what we have to use to get it in. Higher up than that. Yeah, I, I need it. So it's, it's kind of got to be in the middle there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're not quick enough. You're, it's not that I'm not You've quick enough. You're too slow. We have a lot of arguments in this house, but that bends the floor so we can get it out. That's how much water's pumped in. So I've got to get all that water out as well. Gone. Perfect. Much appreciated. No worries. Cheers, for that, right? That is. Thank you. See, we needed three people really, and that's what we've got. And the floor's out. So this is all the water. I'm going to get my bait pump from the shed, and I'm going to pump all that water out because that'll be the easiest way of doing it. Oh, oh this project is mental and stupid. Yeah, exactly that. Absolute stupid. Let's go and pick the dog up. He's just had his operation. And then we'll get back to empty the boat of water. Let's go. Just for life. Monty, you're not very happy. Mm. He's really not very happy with us. Oh, Monty. Don't talking to us. Monty. Monty me. Poor thing. <laughs> right, we're back from the vet. Let's get on with the boat. So um, we still need to get the water out. Might turn it upside down somehow. Well, in the end, we just flip the damn thing. Much easier. Right, so this is the first time I've actually flipped the boat over since getting it. And the first thing I've noticed um, is this. So this is the water barrier sheet. We've got a small hole here. So I'm going to patch that up uh, now that it's over. And I'm going to check the rest of the boat to see where, if there's any other obvious damage. So I've gone to the bow cover. I've grabbed a little bit of uh, high palon stuff. I'm going to put that over the hole, so put contact adhesive on the floor and on that part. I've sandpapered it up a bit as well, and then we're going to stick it over the top with that uh, PU sealant. That sealant's waterproof and it works really well with vibrations, as I said earlier, so that's what we'll do now. Banks a bit more uh, the other direction. Yeah, there is. A lot of shipwrecks. You know what the code is? taking everything. Uh, Light fires on the to lure. Oh, ships and then steal all their treasures. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's why you're so rich, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so as you can see, this, this, this bow cover was already torn. 
So I've decided I'm going to cut around it and take it all out because there's a hole underneath this. It's going to make it a lot easier to fix because we're hopefully going to be able to see uh, where the hole is. All right, inspection mat down. Now, the hole, which we merely need to investigate, uh, came from around this area. We heard it leaking um, pretty badly. Now, this is just a patch. I'm just going to peel off a little bit and see what's underneath here because I believe the leak may be coming from under here and that being in place is going to pr prevent us from uh, from seeing it properly and that's just a glued patch we can stick that back on with that sealant later on Throw it over there all right so they say that the, the hole was from down here somewhere it might ah there we go I'm pretty sure it's there pretty sure it's there but it could be from down there as well so what we we'll have to do is we we'll have to pump it up and have a little look. I'm going to inspect it for a bit longer and see if we can find it. Alright, plug that one in. Now I'm hoping the leak is going to be quite obvious uh, when we pump it out. I said last time you can hear it coming out. So I'm hoping I'll find it easily um, and then we can seal it straight away. But um, if it's under the piece of wood which supports the floor, it's going to be a lot of hard work to do that. But fingers crossed it's an easy one. Right, you can see it's starting to form now. We're getting up to one bar. This is where the leak will be down here. Um, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure it might be linked to this. I can't feel it, although there might be a bit of air coming out here. So we're going to get it to about two bar if we can, uh, two psi if we can, and then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll click, turn it off, and we'll have a we'll have a listen and see where we can hear the, the leak because there's definitely one down there. You can hear it, can you? Ah, there it is. It's down there. So, you can hear, hear it. Stick my finger in there. You can't hear it. So it's pretty much underneath the, the seat. But yeah, it's down there. It's under there. Right, so we've had a play around uh, with that leak. Uh, by pushing pressure on the wood and pulling it back, it actually slows it down. So you can hear it down there. Now you can't hear it so much. So it's the wood's obviously gone inside. So what I'm going to do, as you can see here, I've started to peel back this um, bit of fabric which is attached to the wood. I'm going to try and remove this whole wooden console um, so I can look at the boat in full detail and then I can properly wash it for one. Um, and then fix that leak because with the wood in the way there's no way of me guaranteeing I can stick all that together without it leaking again so the wood's going to come out if that's easy hopefully it's not going to be too difficult uh, and then we can investigate further but for now I need to peel this back and peel it underneath as well so we're just using a scraper there I'm just going to put that underneath and very gently just knock it out because it's not part of the integral high pay on stuff that that's just going just to ease it, ease it off the boat like that so I can say I can get the wood out and see what's going on Oh, that didn't take long. Bit of wood is out, and now I can properly investigate that leak. We'll pump it up, and I'll, we'll have another here. On it goes. Now, I just thought it's really worth mentioning that what I'm doing here is absolutely not uh, advised to, to use when you're fixing your own boat. Um, these methods are not necessarily correct. Um, they're just methods that I'm using to save a bit of money basically um, and just try and get this boat on the water once more in a very safe sea environment and with other boats nearby so if anything did happen they could come and rescue us hopefully that wouldn't happen but right that's pumped up to two, two psi let's have a little bit so you can see the gaps the hole is somewhere here because if i stick my finger inside i can almost almost stop it there you go that almost stops it but yeah it's definitely in there somewhere right i've got the hole if my finger could stay there for the whole trip it would be fine um but i can actually feel the hole where it's ripped through um so what i need to do is clean the area up very there you go it's totally stopped now totally stopped that's all it is, that's that little hole there. The, how that's happened is, I think when we've been putting the floor in, or when someone's put the floor in, it might have been there before that we had it, um, and someone's pushed it down, it's ripped it. 
So when I redesign the floor, um, I'm not going to allow that to happen again. But yeah, I can pretty much stop that leak. I can see the hole anyway. There you go. Because I can see it, it makes it a lot, a lot easier to fix. So what I'm going to do is clean the area up. I'm going to cut a patch out from that uh, tubing and then put so much <laughs> silicon on it and uh, hope to God that when it dries, that silicon will hold it in place. It should do. But it's a very awkward place to uh, to fix a coal. I'll tell you that, very awkward. Oh well, someone's got to do it. So we've got our little bit of rubber, which we're gonna stick over that hole. I'm just gonna clean it up and then uh, I've got a bit of sandpaper back there. I'm just going to sandpaper the area which I'm gluing onto. It just gives it a little bit more, makes it a bit rougher and makes it stick a little bit better. So what we'll do is we'll put a load of that PU stuff, that waterproof sealant, uh, great for vibration as I said, stick absolutely loads of it on there. Um, I'll get my head torch on, I'll get below, get under it, stick it until I can't hear it, the air coming out and, uh, and just hold it there until, it's, until it dries. So I'll be there now in about 20 minutes, but it'd be worth it. I'm sure that's the only hole, so. What can go wrong? Let's give it a go. Right, so we're coming to the end uh, of episode two of restoring the RNLI boat. And that's because I can't go any further, because I've got to wait for this um, puncture to dry. So I'll sort of show you what I've done. Uh, you would have seen a little bit. Uh, it's been filled up with this stuff here. And uh, basically I've, I've used some of that uh, PVC rubber I've had. This is basically just very uh, heavy brickwork. Uh, I've used just the hammer end to pressure against it because that stops the leaking. Um, now that there's no leaking going on now at all, uh, I hope. So I've just used this to push the hammer in because if I held the hammer there, it, it, would, it would stop leaking because the pressure is on the point of where it needs to be. So I filled it up with that filler. I've put the patches on and I've pushed the weight onto the hammer to, to try and sort of stop it from doing anything bad. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of filler around here. I don't think I really need to, but um, hopefully when I take that off tomorrow, uh, this will still be relatively up and uh, then we'll know that it's holding air. So um, let, we're gonna leave that overnight. <laughs> hopefully uh, it'll, it'll stay inflated now. I've just checked the pressure on the, uh, on the box here and um, it's, it's stabilized. It's not going down, which means it, it's holding air as is. So that's, that's great. Um, obviously, we might when we put it back up to sort of free psi, it might be that the boat starts leaking air again under pressure. But we shall see. Uh, for now, we're going to leave it. We're going to let it set, and then we're going to go and do other repairs around the boat. So, if you're interested in taking this boat on, uh, and you know a bit more than me, and you want to restore it back to its former glory, send me a message uh, either on YouTube or the Facebook uh, Muscle Fishing. And, uh, and we can have a little discussion. I've got a couple of people which are sort of interested in it, but um, I really want it to go to someone who's, who's gonna do it up nice. And um, I believe it's probably savable. Um, I hope, but I, I think it's savable. Yeah, so anyway, thank you for joining us once again. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you on episode three when we repair more holes. Cheers.